Eubank. Which one? Oh man. When I'm boxing. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> God, God, God! This, this is the the warrior's code. This is, this is, this is boxing. This is the sport. This is an art. This is where sartorial elegance even plays a part in the ring. And when this is not just about junior, this is about the Eubank warrior name and code that we have as warriors, as fighters. As people, you cannot talk to us if you are not a fighter, if you are not the man that has stepped through the ropes. You do not understand the spirit of the sport. And I will tell you that when my son wins a world title, it will not be my son winning a world title. It will be me winning a world title. No, and, and Eubank was frightening. You know, I mean, you'd sit down and you'd negotiate virtually the whole deal. And we'd sit there around the table with Sky, and, you know, and he'd say, right, well, I think we're there, but um, I'd just like to ask, um, who is commentating on the fight? And I would say, sorry? He said, who is commentating on the fight? He calls me Edward. I've known him since I was 12 years old. Edward, who is commentating on the fight? And I would say, well, it's obviously Sky. He said, no, 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 no. He said, Barry McGuigan must commentate on the fight. And I said, why? Because when I beat Nigel Benn, Barry McGuigan was commentating. And I said, what's that got to do with it? He said, because this is important. This is the Eubank Warriors code. You know, so, and, and it's literally, you know, it's, you get in situations like that and you're thinking, are you being serious? And, but little things, you know, and in the end... Chris Eubank talking to Conor McGregor about his boy, Junior. <laughs> Mr. Mr. McGregor, I, I believe that is your name. Um, I am not sure about MMA. I am not sure about UFC because it does not embody the spirit of boxing, the spirit of the warrior's code. I do not know if there is such code in a mixed martial arts, easy for you to say. But you have to understand that if Junior ever got in the ring with you, he would finish you. Hold up, it's that guy. <laughs> he is my son, he is a warrior, he is part of me, he is just an extension of myself. And if he got in the ring with you, he would he would take you to pieces, he's an L do nine! <laughs> Eubank impersonation, okay, as people need cheering up. What we must understand is this is no longer about boxing. This is about life. This is about the warrior's code. Going through life to overcome the problems before we get back to the art of pugilism. Hi, I'm Gordon Ramsay, and I'm delighted to be here with Chris Eubank Sr. Hello, English. How are you? You're all right. Gordon, it's an absolute pleasure to see you. Oh, your fantastic. Your culinary delights are supreme. I watch all your shows. I'm fucking believable. Heaven's Kitchen, or whatever it's called. It's oh, I love it. Have you been to restaurants around Vegas? I, I eat free at all of your restaurants. You may know this or not know this, but I, one thing I know about you, Gordon, yes, is, yes. in fact, you are a warrior in the kitchen place. Oh. Chris Livingstone Eubank. Because okay. what you must know about Livingstone Eubank, a.k.a. English, is... He is not a posh man. He grew up on the streets of Atlantic City. This was not an accent that was grown from the street. This was an accent that grew from becoming a warrior. Can I from... say, can I... Let me tell you, this is a potential fight of the year between two warriors. Firstly, we have the warrior from Texas, Errol Spence. People call him the truth. But what we do not know is if he is a warrior, if he can handle the pressure, the power of eight ounce gloves. Can he take it? Has he got a good chin? Kel Brook, we know, is an excellent fighter. Against Golovkin, who of course my son would ruin if they were in a fight together. We all know that. Kel Brook is an excellent fighter, but we know that Kel is a warrior, but we do not know if Errol is a warrior. <laughs> Chris, I'm sorry if you watched that, you know, I got all love for you. 